It's a scary thought, isn't it? In fact, it's actually quite terrifying. The thought of floating off in space. Now, the question naturally arises, what would happen if an astronaut were to float off in space? And then there's other questions, such as how do astronauts stop themselves from floating away in space? Well, these are the questions I am going to be answering here today. So before I give you the answer, I just wanted to invite you to hit the like button and to remind you not to forget to subscribe to the channel. So with that said, on to the answer. So what happens if an astronaut floats off in space? There are several outcomes, none of which are pretty. Which fate an astronaut is dealt depends on the angle from which they fall off. They could be left floating or even spinning around in space until their oxygen tank runs out, leading to death by asphyxiation, or they could float into the Earth's atmosphere and effectively be fried alive. So pretty grim outcomes. And the truth is, once you've floated away from the space station, your destiny has already been chosen for you. So you could say that losing contact with the space station is a bit more costly uh, than letting go of a balloon in the wind. With such a risk involved, how do astronauts ensure that they don't go for a casual stroll in the galactic park? Let's find out. So how do astronauts stop themselves from floating away in space? Well, astronauts use tethers and safers to stop them from floating off in space. Now, tethers are cables that keep them attached, while safers are a backup mechanism, like a jetpack, that allow astronauts to fire themselves back should they need to. So you're not sent up to space to float cosily in the spacecraft and gaze at the stars. Astronauts have to conduct their research, but they also have to install equipment outside the spacecraft and even make repairs. Therefore, exiting the spacecraft is an absolutely fundamental procedure that must be performed with great care. Luckily for the astronauts, they are not trusted to manoeuvre around the space spacecraft like a freehand rock climber climbing a mountain. They are provided with multiple tools to make the task of not floating off into space that little easier. Tethers are the first item of equipment provided to astronauts to keep them grounded to their spacecraft. Tethers are lengthy cables that are attached to the astronaut's suit and the spacecraft. The tether ensures that an astronaut doesn't stray too far away from the spacecraft and can easily return once they have completed their task. And as great as they sound, they are essentially just cables. That's right, just like a pet dog or a naughty child, the astronaut is kept on a sort of leash type device. Another device used to keep astronauts from floating off in space is what is known as a safer. Essentially, this device is like a jetpack that allows the astronaut to fly back to safety if they become detached from their tether. So this is in many ways a backup mechanism. Now, astronauts control the safer using a joystick control panel. And during a rigorous training program ahead of flying out to space, astronauts are taught how to use these particular devices. And training environments are created which emulate the conditions of space, acclimatizing astronauts to the lack of gravity up above. This way, astronauts can practice spacewalks in training simulations so that they already have a substantial amount of experience operating in a rather floaty environment and how to use pieces of equipment like safers. Now, if an astronaut were to lose their connection with the spacecraft, then they would use their safer to fly back and they would reattach to their tether. However, if the safer was faulty or they had forgotten to wear it that day, the astronaut would be without a method of returning to the spacecraft. And as already mentioned, the astronaut would have no control over the di direction in which they would find themselves floating. It's not like water, so they can't swim back. So this is when things would start to get a bit tricky. In such circumstances, the astronaut's colleagues on the spacecraft would have to perform a rescue mission. Now, this would involve another astronaut having to connect multiple tethers together for the astronaut to haul themselves back in with. If the floating astronaut had been knocked unconscious, then their colleague would, would have to use the string of tethers as well as the safer to bring them back to the spacecraft. Such a mission is yet to take place, and there is a reason for that. 
Now you're probably wondering if any astronauts have floated off in space. So far, thankfully, no. But there have been some close calls. In 1977, a Soviet cosmonaut, which is the Soviet terminology for an astronaut, uh, by the way, um, the Soviet, Soviet cosmonaut uh, called Georgi Grechko started to float away from his spacecraft soon after detaching from his tether. Luckily, his commander, who was nearby at the time, was able to grab Greco's leg before pulling him back to the spacecraft. It's safe to say Greco probably owed his commander an astronomical beer right after he'd changed his space diaper. There was one astronaut who went to extreme measures just for a good photo opportunity. In 1984, US astronaut Bruce McCandles, or McCandless, depend on how you want to say it, was the first to float freely in space without any attachment to his spacecraft. A famous picture was taken of Bruce calmly floating above Earth. But how did he get back? Well, Bruce was using an MMU, manned manoeuvring unit, which allowed him to perform extra vehicular activities untethered as long as he was within close proximity of the spacecraft. The MMU was used by NASA on three missions before being judged as too dangerous and it was consequently reti retired from use. So the question naturally arises of whether you can stop floating in space. Well, you can't because there is no gravity. If we were to stop floating, it would be down to a sudden presence of a gravitational center. Earth, for example, is a gravitational center. And we don't float when we are on Earth because of gravity's existence. But when up in space, the gravitational pull that Earth holds on us is so weak that we simply float around. Now, of course, other planets have gravity, but if Earth's isn't strong enough to pull us back down, then others certainly don't have the power to either, considering where astronauts go in relation to them. So if there was enough gravity in space, it would need to have a center point. And whatever that was would pull us or astronauts down to it. Fortunately for the astronauts, there isn't gravity in space. Otherwise, they'd be plummeting towards the center at great speed. Now you might be thinking, hang on a second, I saw that Red Bull guy jump from space and land on Earth. How come he was able to stop floating and fall back down to Earth? Well, he didn't stop floating first. We already know that one potential outcome for an astronaut that floats up in space is that they arrive in the Earth's atmosphere where they are fried alive. This is because whilst there is hardly any gravity in space, Earth still has a slight gravitational pull on objects close by. So as the space jumper floated closer towards Earth, the level of gravity inc would increase. Eventually, the presence of gravity would be so strong that he would stop floating and start to fall down to the surface at much greater speed. Why didn't he meet the horrible fate he was supposed to? Red Bull prepared for this. The jumper was wearing a pressurized suit that protected him from the drastic change in air pressure. Okay, so if objects always float in space, but are always moving back towards Earth, how does anything stay up in space for a long period of time? Well, the spacecrafts that astronauts work on are constantly falling towards Earth because of its gravitational pull. However, the spacecrafts never hit the ground due to the tremendous speed at which they orbit the Earth. There's no doubt that floating in space is an occupational hazard when up among the stars. The fear of this happening is a very real one among astronauts. Even those of us non-astronauts who saw gravity probably have nightmares about it happening to us. Fortunately, at this stage, the cinema screen is the only place an astronaut has been reported floating off in space, and hopefully it will remain that way. Advancements in technology have allowed astronauts to perhaps be a little more carefree, knowing that they can simply jetpack their way back to safety, should their first line of defense, the tethers, fail. Even so, if you do find yourself up in space, don't go for a wander. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos just like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, I've got a whole playlist of other related videos that you may want to check out. And if you hit the bell button, you'll be notified of when I release videos just like this going forward.